Oh my goodness, I have another super fun fashion wig from Renee of Paris from their Muse collection. As you may know, I'm working my way through all of their Muse collection in many of their super fun fashion colors. This one is Lavish Waves by Renee of Paris in the color Cosmic Teal. Look at this color. So fun. And you guys, this is major on my tiptoes mermaid hair. I'm tall, I'm 5'9", and this total mermaid hair. If you want to know more about this fun fashion style, stick around. I will tell you all about her and I'll show you this color inside and outside. They do have other wigs that come in this color, so maybe this isn't your style, but maybe you're loving the color. I'll tell you all about it. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook, and I am partnering with Renee of Paris on these Waves collection, Muse collection, I should say, reviews, and they sent me all of these beautiful pieces. So I'm really thrilled to be able to give you guys information on all of these. Now the Muse collection is more of a fashion collection. So most of the wigs come in fashion colors. They do though have a brunette and a blonde, normal brunette, normal blonde in each of these styles. So if you're not into the fashion colors, you can, and you love the style, you can still get it. But I just wanted to point that out because a lot of the wigs I review come in many, many colors, you know, kind of normal, not fashion hair colors, but the Muse collection is a little bit different. So wanted to make sure you were aware. Let's take a look at lavish waves from all sides. So long, so, so long. Had to get way up on my tiptoes. All of these music collection pieces can be found at Name Brand Wigs. I'll make sure that uh, this piece is linked in the description and a coupon code that will save you money. And it works on any Renee of Paris wig. So even if you're just watching this review for fun, but you don't think this is a piece that you would ever wear, Renee of Paris has some darling styles and lots and lots of different options. And you can save money on all of them with my coupon code. Now, right off the bat, I am gonna give you a caution about this one. It is made with heat friendly fibers and it's just going to get a ton of friction rubbing up on your clothing. I've already noticed and I've only played with it a few times, I am getting a fair amount of tangling on this piece. You can see I'm trying to work my fingers through it and I am getting a fair amount of tangling. So you are absolutely going to want to carry a wide tooth comb if you wear this one. I would not recommend wearing this one for 10 hours. It just, to me, this is going to be more of a special occasion piece, uh, you know, date night type piece, not necessarily an everyday piece. You are also going to have to make sure you take heat to these ends because they're going to get very frayed and frizzy from rubbing up on your clothing. I have a video, I have multiple videos showing how to take heat to heat friendly pieces. Because this is wavy, I would recommend using a clothing steamer, not a hot airbrush or a hot comb or anything like that, unless you're prepared to put more wave back into this one or if you want to straighten it, then that will work fine. But if you want to maintain this wave pattern, you're going to really need to care for this diligently and regularly. And I also recommend a leave-in conditioning spray regularly as well. Just, just know heat-friendly fibers do need a little bit of special care. The longer the wig, the more that care is going to be important. And I think this is the longest wig I have ever had on my head. So this one is absolutely gonna need I that I see myself wearing this one styled more than I would see myself wearing it down. And this could be such a great wig for like a really full half up, half down, a ponytail, braids. Can you imagine how cute this would be with a big thick mermaid braid down the back? So I do think that you do have a lot of options for styling with this piece as long as you're aware of the care that the fibers will need. Now this has a lace front and they did a really good job on this lace front. Look at that. Such a good job. So I do think even though this is more of a fashion piece, you know, it's a little bit more affordable than a lot of other wigs that have this kind of a cap construction and my coupon code will bring the price down to somewhere around $125. So we've got a center part, 
And then we've got that lace and look at how far that lace goes all the way to the ear tabs. So you do have some styling flexibility with this one. We have ear tabs with bendable stays. I don't know how much you can see this because it's black, but we've got an extended nape and what kind of, we've got the bra strap adjusters on this one, the pull adjusters. I find that if you put a little bit of a stitch with a needle and thread into those adjusters, you can get it set to stay. Otherwise, they do tend to want to shift. So just a little I'll show you a little trick. When putting on a super long wig like this, I don't like to dive into them because it just can cause way too much tangling. So what I do is I actually put it on this way. So I put the lace up on my forehead and then I just sort of pull it down and then adjust it after doing it that way. It's not my favorite way to put a wig on, but it works just fine with a long piece like this. And like I said, leave-in conditioner is gonna be your best friend. I've been testing out this Tress Allure dual leave-in conditioner lately. So I can bring you guys more information on how well this is working, but here's what I would do. I would just liberally spray this piece with, there's lots of leave-in conditioners on the market. So I would just recommend, for, for synthetic wigs, I would just recommend experimenting and then gently comb through, starting sort of on the bottom and then working your way up. Look at how much, I mean this conditioner so far is working, it's a miracle. And it helps basically to detangle it and smooth out that, those fibers. So I, I do so far recommend it. So if you're in the market and you need something, you don't have anything, I'll make sure that's linked below. But a leave-in conditioner, especially with a wig like this, is gonna be critical. And you know, you always have the option to trim up the piece. I actually have a video, I have tons of videos, you guys. I actually have a video where I show how to thin out and cut the length on, it's a headband wig, but it would work with a wig like this. So if you're not sure, if this would even work for you, but you're so curious and you can't help yourself and you purchase it, just know there are lots of things you can do. You can cut face framing layers in. I have a video showing how to do that with a thinning razor. Most of the things I do to my wigs are what I consider hacks. I'm not a stylist, I'm not skilled, I'm not trained. I don't have a lot of um, dexterity in my hands to be able to do tricky things. So I find the simplest way to get the result that I'm looking for. And a thinning razor to me is a must, must have for a wig wearer. So I'll find a couple of good videos that I think might be relevant to a wig like this and I'll link them below just to help you because you just never know when you might need those tips. And I would consider this, uh, you know, it's more of a moderate density than a high density. Even though the length is kind of out of this world, it's not a super thick piece. This does not have any permatease, so it's really flat on the top of the head. I wouldn't consider this low density, but you know, I wouldn't consider it heavy density either. It's just so tricky because of the length that seems like it's a ton of hair. So when I sort of throw it back into a ponytail and I smooth my hands down, that's how I know that it's really not a super heavy density. And again, super flat to the head, lace front, mono part. I mean, I think this wig has all the bells and whistles and could be a cute, fun wig for special occasions. Let's talk about fit. So Renee of Paris, the brand in general, generally runs a little bit smaller than true average. I would not call it average petite, but it's definitely runs, they generally run a little bit smaller than some of the other major name brands. Not as small as Ellen Villa, for those of you familiar with brands. On these Muse collection wigs, I have found some variation in how the caps fit. I think because this is more of a fashion collection, the fit is a little bit more true to average. I get extra cap on the top, and it is really loose on me right now. I do have to cinch it in. They, uh, they do have a lot, this one at least, has a ton of stretch. So I would say this is running pretty, pretty true to average. To summarize. This is super fun. This to me is not an everyday wig by any stretch, but I could see wearing this to a concert or, you know, if you're going out to karaoke or, you know, something fun where you might want to let your hair down and live a little more loosely, I think this could be super fun. And honestly, I love this color so much. I could see myself wearing this 
styled just for the chance to wear this color. It's so gorgeous. And that's the segue into color. When I look at this color, I think of the word smoky. This is definitely kind of a smoky color. We have got teal, like a smoky teal. That's what this is. And it's really kind of a, a gray, grayish, bluish is how I see it. And then we've got off black or soft black lowlights. And one thing I do want to point out is the nape is all that black, soft black. Do you see that? So we've got teal sort of highlights running throughout. You can see just the pop of color throughout the back. And then almost like smoky gray money pieces. So I don't know if I can get this. Hopefully I can get this. So right here, this is more of a smoky gray. This is the smoky teal. Can you see the difference? So throughout, we've got the smoky teal all throughout the top. And then the two money pieces are more of a, of a kind of a grayish, like a, like a smoky bluish gray, different than the teal. Hopefully that makes sense. And then it's just, you've got that off black, dark colors are so hard to show, off black throughout. Just look at how that all blends. Just so fun. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thank you to Renee of Paris for giving me a chance to show this. Remember, I do have links below, even if this isn't the wig for you. If it's not, thank you for watching all the way through. That helps my, uh, my channel a lot. But there are lots of tip videos below to help you, no matter what wig you decide to choose. Thanks for watching. All right, Cosmic Teal. I think this is a stunning color. Look at that length, though. I haven't reviewed this one yet. I just did the unboxing. Taking advantage of the sunlight. What a fun fashion color. Get in up close. All right, there you go. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.